cleft lip and palate are congenital defects causing openings in the upper lip, roof of the mouth, or both. This occurs when facial structures don't fully form while in utero and if not treated can have an impact on feeding, teeth development, speaking, and emotional well-being. A partial cleft lip involves a partial fissure of the upper lip while in complete cleft lip there is a full separation of the lip and nasal cell. A partial cleft palate is separation of the soft palate only while complete cleft palate involves separation of the soft and hard palate. Risk factors for this include genetics in which part of the gene can be inherited from either parent, intrapartum infections, tobacco, drug, or alcohol use during pregnancy, and vitamin deficiencies. The only treatment for cleft lip and palate is surgery and it's recommended this be done within the first 18 months. Education here is key to ensure the parents feel supported and the baby's able to feed effectively. Lamb's nipples, which are extra long nipples for bottles, or wide nipples can be used to better create a seal. For babies with unilateral cleft lip, teach the mother to feed on the unaffected side, allow adequate swallow time during feedings, and feed the infant slowly and burp them frequently. I hope you found this helpful and check out the full study sheet in the Nursing School Success Bundle.